fucked up, dude. Ooh, Halloween episode. Crooked cameras. Crooked cameras. All right. I got a list this time. A list of topics? A list of topics. Nice. Wait, I, can we can we do an introduction? Yeah. All right. I'm going to start us off. Hey, everyone out there. Thanks again for tuning in to the Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing podcast. Yay. That. Uh, Phil, take it away. Yep. Hear nothing. See nothing. And say nothing. You weren't supposed to say something. Anyways, <laughs> you no. blew it, John. <laughs> blew it. Let's, right. let's do it again. Fuck this shit. Oh, it's too late. No, but um, yeah. Or so so. It's okay that I smoke, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, that's I fine. encourage it because we didn't. You know, you know, last episode we realized that uh, the there was a large gas cloud in the room. <laughs> John, John didn't like it too much, <laughs> but it lets us know. When we, when all of us, not just me, because I don't know when to shut f- the, the fuck up ever. But, uh, so, I mean, what the, so you don't smoke, John? No, I, I don't smoke. When, when did you stop smoking? Years ago. Like, like, what, two, like, what, 25? Like, uh, you weren't smoking at five f- years old? 15, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Bill? When did you start? Oh, shit. When I was 16 years old. 16? Yeah, so 10 years. Was it, was it, uh, because I know you smoke like, um, what is it, three a day? Three packs? <laughs> no, had <laughs> no round down. It's about one. Oh, okay. No, I didn't know. I don't even, but. Oh, really? You thought I smoked three packs a day? I, I, yeah, I wouldn't know. I mean, I don't know what's, I don't. I have a c- cigar once in a while, or, you know, we go hookah, but I wouldn't know if uh, that's, like, normal for people to have, you know, one pack a day, three packs a day. Well, I-, I assume that people who have, like, that fuck hole in their throat, it's, like, uh, I don't know, ten packs a day. Uh, like, in a re- like realistically, I thought it, that's what it was. I don't even know. I okay. couldn't tell you. Well, uh... Yeah, I, I, I think I started smoking a cigar because um, my mom had a really cocksucker boyfriend, Tom, and he um, we used he's, to get into fist fights. This guy was great. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, sounds nice. Yeah, and uh, it, it kind of sounds weird. I guess it's like reverse psychology, but yeah, he was a cocksucker. He um, he would bitch about random things, and we'd actually, I actually, he was a like half a foot to a foot taller than me. So I actually had to throw a chair at him because I couldn't reach far enough to punch him in the nose. And yeah, he'd be like, like we'd, I'd be walking by, or he'd be walking by, and I'm putting my shirt on, and he's like, "Yeah, you need to, you need to put that." Oh yeah, he had a lisp and a really rest. He's like, you need to start putting that shirt on, like like you're a man. Stop putting that shirt on like you're a faggot. I'm like, oh, okay. Can you come here and teach me to be more heterosexual? Because I didn't know the guy walking by, spying on me, taking my clothes off, is is not the faggot. So I don't want to put my shirt on like a faggot anymore, you know. And so that's the kind of guy he was. And and he smoked a shitload of cigars. I don't know if it's just uh, subconscious psychology, but I fucking hated it. I used to think I hated it because of him, but I hated the smell. And then suddenly. I went to a hookah bar, and my buddy's like, well, I don't really, you know, hookah kind of fucks up your throat after a long time. Why don't you try a cigar? And I tried it, and it was delicious. And I have an announcement. I, I recently, first time dedicated diet, as fat ass as that sounds, I'm like trying to eat under 900 calories and run off 1,000. Mm. I, I might die. And, I, and what's funny is I used to have cigars because they were really sugary as uh my dessert <laughs> and there actually is a cigar diet so i'm glad i'm not like the only psychopath doing that so that's what i'm doing but uh yeah oh and then and then i guess it's probably obvious for most people but i really love mafia movies so the cigars got me more into it, it made me try them more and made me love it more and it really takes out the <laughs> Get fucked up, dude.